Hello, um, welcome to Georgie's Gun Dogs at Trails for Tales Dog Training, uh, episode five. Uh, what am I on about? Anyway, welcome, people. Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in again. Um, I'd like to say thank you for those who've messaged me saying they have started their training with my uh, first video, which was the connection exercise. Been really exciting hearing about people um, going out there, getting out there with their gun dogs and uh, having a go at the first episode and taking a lot on board of what I've said. Absolutely fantastic. So well done, guys. Keep them messages coming in keep them telling me i love to hear your stories and your successes with your dogs as well as if you're having any issues please message me um but it's really nice to hear that people are enjoying the videos not the ones who just see me but also people who obviously are not in my area have messaged which has been really great also i had one complaint that's right one complaint the mother that's right she uh said why do i have to film in a shed next to a green barrel well mother i like my shed and i like my barrel love you really anyway because well, she, she was like georgie do you have to sit, do you have to sit by that green thing yes i do it's my comfortable zone love you mum but i won't be removing this area this is like my my happy zone right so you wanted to know what we're getting onto in this episode. Well, it says in the title, God, geez. Right, anyway, okay, so in this episode, we are talking about the auto sit and why we use it in gun dog training. Okay, the what's and the why's. So, a lot of people start with the puppies and teach us sit, and these do it very basically, but teach us sit. It's one of the first things we teach a dog, which is great. So, a lot of you will have a head start. I will still do a demo video of how I teach it and different ways I might use it. Um, which we're going to talk about. So the auto sit, let's get cracking on with it, okay? The auto sit, what do we use it for in gun dog? Okay, now, for any jumps on my neck, I know not every breed is required it on everything that might be mentioned, and I will go through that, okay? Because there are certain things that we don't need the auto sit for certain breeds, where other breeds we would want the auto sit, okay? So what do I use the auto sit for? Well, if I'm training my own dog, which is a cocker, I use it sit to flush, which means when the bird goes up in front of them, they sit on it. I use it sit on a stop whistle, um, sit before, sit for shot, um, sit stays when I'm working on steadiness, sit at my heel if I'm stood around, um, sit on delivery. There are a million things. Oh, sit on the place board. There are so many different things I use it for. Okay. Now, with the other breeds, it depends what you're doing with your dog. Like I said, knowing your lane with your gun dog. So let's say retrievers. Um, some people like them. So if you have a dog on the peg, you want it sat on the peg. So that's a really long sit today on the peg. Okay, they've got to sit there while the drive's going on, all right, and only go for the odd runner. You might be wanting to trial your retriever. Now some prefer a stand or a stand stop. So it depends, like I said, this auto sit, but there'll be other times they use you use sit with whatever breed you're doing, especially steadiness work, where you'll want them sat. Okay, again, HPRs and that, if they're out there hunting and they're stopping on flush, that's up to you if you want to sit or stand, because I also take in consideration the size. Some of the larger breeds struggle getting up from the sit-stay, especially on a motion where they are out on a retriever, out on a hunt. Um, we more do a stand-stop, but that, again, depends on the breed, again, with the pointers and setters. You have to see what their sequence is and what they're going to be doing. Pe picking up dogs, again, they'll be sat there with the handler while watching behind the drives. Again, it depends. Um, a lot of people, like I said, the trialling, like to have their dog stood with them yep but again just find your lane and find what the requirement of your lane is but this is again in a generalization of the auto sit um it's something i teach straight off with a puppy now i know there's some people out there who don't you know say um they're not a fan of sit but in our world it is needed okay for a lot of things especially like me with my spaniel I have to do a lot of sitting with a lot of things. Like I said, sit to flush, sit to this, sit to that, sit to the stop whistle. So I like it to be a very solid behaviour. And we have so many different positions of sit that we do. So we have to sit by the side, the sit at the front before hunting, sit at a stop at a distance, yeah, or sit mid-close at a distance, sit on delivery, yeah. So 
you know, even when we're stood around and we're walking on, they're walking to heel. If we stand still, we want them to auto sit by us. Okay, there's loads of different ways and times we need it, and we use it for so much. So it's also important that you do teach when it is self control. But when you have a solid stick to start off with your property, it's easy to transfer it onto other behaviours because it's got a lot of reward history. They likely offer it as their first go-to. So when you are training, sit to flush, sit on delivery, okay, sit to a stop, it's probably going to be the go-to that they might try first, all right? And you don't need to touch the dog to put it in a sit, okay? Again, there are many factors you still have to be aware of with any training. Some dogs might not be comfortable in sit, so you have to look at alternatives, and that's okay. All right, so if you've got dogs with hip problems or knee problems, anything that they look uncomfortable, we can look at alternative behaviours. I always still take that into consideration. But if the dog is fit and well and they're comfortable in a sit, I will teach that. Again, like I said, be aware of how your dog is. All right. Like I, another thing that I use sit for is even sit before they come out the car. Sometimes sit before they go gate stuff like that. Now, now, yes, it's it's very traditional, but for me in the gun dog world, we have to do it, deal with a lot of impulse control. Okay, that they think before they do, and it. Now, if I got if they offer sits before they go for things, it's a better alternative behaviour, setting them up for success and yourself, and teaching them to manage themselves okay that they don't have to rush through things or rush out and they usually offer that before they do like the connection as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a training video of how i teach a sit first and then i might do a little snippets of different times you've seen me use sit so like a like a little flush a sit to stop a sit on present sit by the side, sit, stay, but there'll be only little snippets which we will be teaching in videos later, okay? But it shows you the alternatives, the variety, alternative, the variety of things you use this sit for, okay? Um, I hope you enjoy the training video. We will be getting another video up as well um, next week, but it gives you something else to work on. Like I said, even even if you've taught it, you want to really refine it now. And without having to nag the dog all the time, I like, sit, 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 it should be sharp. If you say sit, they sit, okay? And there's times where you don't even need to ask the dog to sit. There'll be cues that will come down the line when I'm training, or the other training videos, where you see I've not even asked for a sit, okay? Because it's become that auto behavior, all right? So, Enjoy the clip, enjoy the training video, enjoy the clips of what you'll be learning later down the line. And yes, it was a brief training video, but great to see you all. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm really enjoying your feedback. Um, and keep you posted on what you're doing with your dogs. Um, hope you enjoy the lovely weather that we are, that is coming, which I can feel. Can't beat a tan, me sat here with Tim Phil, why wait for classes? Why not? You know? Um, so yeah, enjoy the training video, get out there with your dogs, keep doing what you're doing, and here's the training video. Bye. Okay, so in this video, we are teaching the auto sit. All right, so what am I looking for? Obviously, we are looking for the dog to sit. Like I've spoken in the video of why and what we use it for in gun dog training and why it's so important, yes. Why it's so important. So this video I'm going to show you how we teach it. Now, if I have a young puppy, some puppies will naturally offer a sit. So what I would do in that case, it'd be like, yes, mark them, and then follow with a reward, okay? A lot of them naturally offer sit. Some of the larger breeds it won't be so natural to, so you have to see whether that breed's comfortable, like I said in the video. Um, but other ways, if you have a dog that doesn't offer a natural sit, is you can lure them from the head so they could be here. And then you bring the head up, pay. Yeah, mark it and pay. All right, so that is another way you can teach a sit. 
I, most of the time, I'd say 8% to 9% of the time, I majority wait for the dog to naturally offer it. And then I go with it from there. Because like I said, it's one of the first things we always teach our dogs. But we are going to show you different ways that we use it. So, okay, so I want to teach this it. Right, so he's already offering me, so I'm going to go with this. So what I will do is I'll mark him, okay, and then I'll follow with the reward. Now, I, with anything I teach first, I teach the behaviour before I put on the word. So many people think a dog is born with English and they can just go boom, 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 boom. Oh, it should notice it. Well, not really, because if you haven't taught it and proved it, probably not. Okay, so we have to teach to sit. So what I'll do is I'll wait for him to fluently see if he offers to sit. And when he does, then I'll bring on the word sit. Now I bring the word sit on as he's just about to go into the sit. Okay, so when he does hear it, his bum will hit the floor. All right. I like to throw out because what it does when I throw the food out it's it one gets the dog up two to see if they are listening or they are understanding what I'm teaching yes and that they can go back into the sit yes I'm going to bring the word on now. Sit. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes. Didn't even say it then, he still went in, I just double checked. Sit. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes. See how I didn't nag then? Patience, yeah. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Do one more. Sit. Yes. Yay. Good boy. All right. So that is just me teaching a basic sit. You're going to now see a few clips of different ways down the line, which you'll be learning how to do, of how, where we use sit. Okay. Because you'll see from the side, you'll see on a place board, sit to flush, sit to delivery, sit for steadiness, sit to the stop whistle. So you're just going to see a range of things that later down the line that you will use it for, even sitting by your side, doing nothing. All right. So that is teaching the auto sit.